there's the, there's that right there, and that's just kind of showing you that. Now, right here, this one right here would be like a, that one right there. Let me get, let me just show you. Let me just kind of show you on that one. That would be, and you don't have to draw these or anything, but notice the different shape of the nucleus. That would be a monocyte. Uh, then if we go on down, uh, right, that one right, that next one is going to most likely, that one would be like a, that's the way a lymphocyte looks. Uh, there's a the lymphocyte. And then here the whole group together. Here's the whole group together, these white blood cells. Just put this on there like that. And there they are, eosinophil, basophil, Neutrophil, neutrophil is the what the polymorphonuclear one. That's the one that's typically referred to as polymorphonuclear. There's a, I don't know what they say, a small lymphocyte and a monocyte. Monocyte has more of a kidney shape, and you won't remember all these things. Do remember the polymorphonuclear. Neutrophil, see that that is NEB. That's the granular ones. Reading neutrophil, eosinophil, basophil. And so those are the granular leukocytes. Here the A granular would be monocyte and lymphocyte. And you can use them or any way, any way you want to. But there they are. They're very important. And there are different kinds of leukemias, too. There's lymphocytic leukemia. There are different kinds of leukemias affecting these different types of cells. And so we just kind of have that right there. And then this next slide right here on these lymphocytes, the next slide, well, that's just showing, that's just, that's the same, that's the thing there. Okay, well, that's just a different cell, just a different slide right there. And that, there it is. Pop is lymphocyte, basophil, mono. The bottom is a monocyte, neutrophil, and eosinophil on the bottom. So that's just kind of showing you, you don't have to memorize it. Now let's go to this right here. Leukemias. Scary. Scary. Leukemias. Uh, condition in which there's an uncontrolled, greatly accelerated production of white blood cells. Um, now, myelocytic leukemia involves descendants of the myeloblast. Chronic type, more often than adults. Weakness, fatigue, and large spleen, usually followed by death. Okay? That's chronic in adults. And there was this one guy in our family, his name was Nick Claris. He was on my wife's side of the family. Great guy. Owned a Greek restaurant in Waco for years and years and years and years. Nick Claris. He was dying. Older man. He had sold, they had sold the restaurant so forth. But he was very active in community stuff in Waco. They still did some catering. And uh, he was diagnosed about a year and a half ago. I lose a count of time, but somewhere along that in that time period with leukemia, he's now deceased. Oh, they did everything they could for this guy. <coughs> and a great outgoing guy, great guy. And it, but he went to MD Anderson. They did tried stuff, tried new new, new procedures. Couldn't couldn't cure it. Couldn't couldn't deal with it. So it's uh, you know I've had some experience uh, seeing situations with leukemia, and uh, it's not good. All right, and then the lymphocytic. All right, so we have leukemias, they are the myelocytic, and then this one right here, uh, and let me go ahead and put this on the big screen. Let me get this one right here. Lymphocytic leukemia involves uh, lymphocytes, which are derived from lymphoblasts acute more often in children. All right, anemia and bleeding. And, you know, I think, I think really in some situations they can arrest this leukemia somewhat with children. I think now they, they, they're having some sort of luck with kids with leukemia. To a certain degree, uh, you know, they can kind of you know, have to talk to somebody in cancer research and cancer treatment at, uh, on that sort of thing. But uh, with lymphocytic involves uh, derivatives from lymphocytes and so forth. Acute, more often in children. Sudden onset response treatment poor. Anemia and bleeding. I just have, I read you that, but again, that's just leukemia. You know what leukemia is. All right, now right here though, infectious mono, more common in children caused by a virus called the Epstein-Barr, which is part of the herpes viridae virus. Uh, Epstein-Barr is characterized by the increase in the number of lymphocytes. Any, any of you ever have mono? No? Nobody ever had that one? Oh, yeah, it would make you tired. You were extremely tired. And really the treatment for that was mainly just lay low, wasn't it? Take care of yourself. And it, it's kind of self-limiting. Pretty much that was it, wasn't it? Pretty much. Okay. Uh, increased by the number of lymphocytes. And, uh, Fatigue, sore throat, fever, or sudden symptoms. Now, leukopenia, leukopenia, penurous, everybody. Penurous means poor. That's what penurous means. Leukopenia has reference to poor. Uh, leuko, poor amount of leukocytes. That's leukopenia. Uh, nutrition, maybe. Uh, poor nutrition, TB, stuff, various things. Leukocytosis may be temperate, you know. 
you might you you do have around here exercise that might cause a little bit of a not not an unhealthy but maybe a leukocytosis is an elevation of white blood cells it may be temporary from such as cold baths jumping in uh, cold spring water and swinging swimming for a while that might affect that or exercise uh, may result from such as also appendicitis that's not too good or pregnancy <laughs> So you might have leukocytosis if you were pregnant. Uh, and when you were pregnant, you, you don't know, though. They probably wouldn't have told if you, if you were. But it could happen right there. Leuco Do remember these terms, though. Leukopenia, too few. Leukocytosis, too many. Remember those terminologies. Uh, mononucleosis um, actually is characterized by an increase in the number of lymphocytes. And you might want to highlight that. And leukemias... Uh, Chronic would be ongoing, acute would be sudden onset, that would be under leukemias, and there are different kinds of leukemias, and so forth.